Well, it's one for the money, two for the show. We to get ready now, go, cat, go, but don't you step on a blue suede shoes. Well, you can do anything, but lay off my blue suede shoes. Well, you can knock me down, stamp on my face, stand on my name all over the place. Do anything that you wanna do, but oh, oh, honey, lay off my shoes, but don't you. Step on my blue suede shoes Well, you can do anything but lay off my blue suede shoes Hi guys, this is how to play uh, the classic song Blue Suede Shoes, made famous by Elvis Presley but written by Carl Perkins. Uh, in this lesson we're going right back to 1955 to the birth of no rock and roll. Appreciate that t-shirt, it is amazing. Uh, not too long ago I released a video about seventh chords, namely dominant seventh chords, and kind of explained what the numbers mean at the end of chords. If you ever noticed that we start to have a7s and D7s and sus4s and whatever else. Over this week or so I'm explaining kind of what those chords mean and showing you a, some song examples. This is one of them. So this is a 12 bar blues in A and therefore we start off on our A chord and we have the chords D and E major. Now for all of those chords in this bluesy rocky style we can play the dominant seventh version of them, which for E and A is easy peasy, you just take a finger off, and the E, and this, and suddenly they have this bluesy, cool, dark, jazzy sound, and it really brings them to life, so if you want to know more about the dominant seventh chords, click the link in the description, but stay here, check that out at the end, because we're going to be teaching you a really cool song, I'm just going to get in for a close-up now, so you guys can see what's happening. So we're going to begin on an A chord, A major. And I play an A the way that my beginner's course teaches it, but you can also play a one, two, three in a line like this. And we need an up, down, down strumming pattern for, well, it's a one for the money, two for the show. Okay, we've got up, down, and the up, down is very quick. And then there's a slight delay before the last one. Well, it's a one for the money, two for the show. Okay, and then we hit the A7, so in this way of playing an A, we take our first finger off, but it's whichever finger is in the middle that you want to uh, lift off. Three to get ready now, go, cat, go. Okay, well it's a one for the money, two for the show, three to get ready now, go, cat, go, but, go, cat, go, but, is the, uh, on the A7. And then for the next line, we're on a D7, which is this chord here. Um, we have to move your finger one down, and it's actually really similar to this way I play an A chord. You just move it to here. And that's for don't you step on my blue suede. And it's until the word shoes when we go back to the A chord. So that, one more time from the top. Well, it's a one for the money, two for the show. Three to get a ready, A7, go, cat, go, D7. Don't you step on my blue suede. Shoes back to A. On do, we go to the E7, which is a normal E chord, E major, with your third finger off. Well, you can do anything, but lay off D7, off my blue suede shoes. So that's do anything, but lay off D7, my blue suede shoes. Back to A. One more time, just from that E7. Well, you can E7 do anything, but lay off D7. Off my blue suede shoes is an A chord. And then we'll stay on that A chord for the remainder of, of the time. So probably as a, as a bit of a demonstration, but also if you want to join in and I'll shout out the chords for you, let's begin um, after the first line because it's money da da dum on that last on money. Money is where you want to uh, do the upstroke. One for the money. 
the up is on the ne of money. Well, it's a one for the money. Okay, let's give it a go now from there. Let's go through our first round. And then it's just going to be very similar to that till the, uh, till the end of the song. Here we go. Well, it's a one for the money. Two for the show. Three to get a ready. A seven. Three, four, D seven. Step on my boot, suede A chord. E seven, do anything. D seven. D7 back to an A And then it's the same thing again but the, ver the A chord's a bit longer Well you can knock me down And we're just going to keep going up, down, down until you know it changes chords So just the demo Well you can knock me down, up, down. Step on my face But I my name all over the place Do anything that you want to do no, honey, lay A, seven, three, four, don't you Step on my blue suede A chord Optional A7 Well, you can do anything but a hole for my blue suede shoes So for this song you want to be following your chord sequence which a link to it is in the description below otherwise you're not looking at a certain word and you're not aware of the words and you need to be changing a bit on the words on this song but also we've got these seventh chords and we can see why we would go for them now hopefully because they sound bluesy straight away but they can be seen as options so for example when i'm staying on this a chord you could in theory play a7 for the whole song or a normal a chord for the whole song it is a bit of an option i'd like to see you put that into your normal playing when you want that seventh sound to bring everything to life a bit and any blues rock or vintage songs are always the the great place to do it and also before a change so we stay on the a chord change to an a7 and then change chord it like tells us that it's gonna the chord's gonna change so one more time as a quick playthrough from the top but after that you want to be following your chord sequence as i say and from the a chord well it's a one for the money for the show, three to get ready, A7, D7, don't you go back to an A, optional A7, D7, D7, back to an A, and then the same thing again but longer, knock me down, step on my face, send my name all over the place. For that muting, just to make sure you're aware of what I'm doing, up, down, down, and then my hand laying flat on the strings, up, down, down, like this, up, down, down, as soon as you've done that down strum, you want to be laying your hand flat over the sound hole or over the middle of your guitar, so that straight away, we get silence. Well, you can knock me down, step on my face, and my name all over the place. Do anything that you wanna do. But oh, oh, A7 to a D7, don't you step on my blue switch shoes? Well, you can do anything for me or for my blue switch shoes. For that strumming there, I wasn't just doing the beat. And was doing one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and down, down, up, down, down, up, down, dum, pa, dum, bum, pa, dum. And it wants to have a bit of a bounce to it. Bum, 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 bum. Kind of sounds like a train, I think. Dun, da, da, dun, da, da, dun. So I can get it slow. Or you can speed it up. Which is a very popular pattern for these early rock and roll, rockabilly and country songs. For the ending, you'll end on an A chord. Well, you can do it in the heart of my places. That is a very authentic kind of blues ending where we have this. Then it's just your two fingers, whichever two you got down for an A7, slide them up by a fret and then slide them back. And it's the old. 
going to be following the chord sequence in the description below and challenging yourself to see what strumming pattern you can keep up with. So hopefully you've enjoyed that lesson of how to play blue suede shoes. Check out any of these songs to be able to know how to play some more rock and roll songs and more songs with seventh chords. This is at level seven of my beginner's course, available for free at andyguitar.co.uk. So make sure you check that out if this is something you've enjoyed, and I hope to see you again. Bye for now.